So I just finished up a really good uh, 23 hours or so with this Tesla Model S Plaid 2021. And uh, driving this car was certainly a dream come true for me. Uh, for about a year, it's been, it's been a dream. I've been learning all about it for a year, uh, watching all the videos. So uh, it certainly met my expectations. This thing is ridiculously, ridiculously quick, ridiculously fast. So uh, one of the only things that bothered me was how hard it is to stay cool in a Tesla, especially in Las Vegas in July. The damn glass roof is just annoying in my opinion, and uh, it makes it so hard to stay cool. Plus the car struggles to blow cold air on you. It just does a horrible job cooling you off. Luckily it has the ventilated seat, which helps a little bit, but the whole time I had this car, I was sweating my ass off and it was really annoying. But other than that, it's been quite a pleasure. My friend Jason pointed out that it's not quite a luxury car and he's correct on that. It's a little lower end, a little cheaper materials. Overall, the fit and finish is pretty darn good. Like this thing doesn't stay open, which is kind of mind blowing, really irritating. This thing makes a little noise as it opens, but I don't care about that stuff. I only care that it has a thousand horsepower or more. And uh, yeah, the horsepower works great. This thing has the 19 inch, 19 inch wheels on it, uh, which I believe makes it a little bit lighter, a little more efficient and quicker, hopefully. And uh, I drove on the most amazing roads in Las Vegas, put on nearly 300 miles. I've got to double check. Right now it's got the suspension raised up for this parking garage. Ooh. But this car was a total dream come true. God, it's loud over here in Vegas, sorry. Uh, yeah, this car was amazing. God, what the heck is going on out here? Ugh. But uh, yeah, my friends and I, that's the time of our lives with this car yesterday. And we're gonna go launch it one more time, hopefully before I bring it back. And yeah, I can officially say I drove the fastest car you can get. Uh, the fastest normal non-modified car and it was one hell of an experience that I will not soon forget. I really want to own one of these just so I can scare people with it and drive like a dumbass on the highway. And overall the steering yoke is cool. It's an interesting experience. I did get used to it as well as the, the uh, turn signals mounted on here and the high beams and the wipers and stuff. Uh, definitely very different from a, a steering wheel. But uh, at the very least, I respect Tesla for trying something radically different and cool. So, oh yeah, this car was amazing. Thank you, Tesla. Yeah, yesterday I mentioned that this, the windshield in this car has a little bit of a weird warp to it or whatever. It's got a little uh, imperfection. So at certain angles, when you move your head, you can see uh, you can see that it's not quite right. And the funny thing is the rear one seems to do that too around the edges you can see it back there so pretty funny yep time to give this fast fast car back to its owner here we go oh yeah cruising <laughs> see ya This thing's outrageous on the highway. Absolutely crazy. Going 75, 74, boom. <laughs> Faster than anything, basically. Well, so much for the days of Tesla's getting no attention uh, because this one does make noise. It squeals the tires, even from like 45 miles per hour, you punch it and this thing will spin a couple tires as it gets going. Uh, so I was just hitting the gas one last time over here and a couple gentlemen uh, turned their head because they heard heard me spinning the tires. They were like, what was that? <laughs> they probably didn't expect to see a Tesla. So, uh, yep, this thing is outrageous. Over a thousand horsepower going to the four tires and uh, the traction it has is so ridiculous. 